hi dear friends and most welcome to the complete course of javascript inside this class we are going to discuss about how we can call a function inside another function or calling a function from another function or in another way you can say that a nested function because we are going to call a function inside another function and uh, like we have nested if so the same way we can uh, tell that we have nested function first we are going to use the function keyword to create a function then a name i'm just saying first then these two parentheses curly braces we are going to create a simple function here document dot write i'm just saying here our first function so simply we can copy this till here from here till here you can copy by pressing ctrl c you can paste here so I'm just saying second function and this should be also second if you want you can just copy and paste as many time you want so we are just going to paste this for the third time I think it's enough and third so this one also third function and we are going to use a br for line break br so you can copy the br control c paste here and here now we can save and if you run this in the uh, web page there is no display and it has just a reason because you have did, you did not call this function so if we are going to create another function for example function i'm just giving the name of this function result then a parenthesis then curly braces first i'm going to call this function then then this and then this just all of them for example first then a round bracket then we have second with the parentheses then we have third function you can call this and simply copy the name and you can just call this outside of this one with the parentheses and semicolon now we can save this just come here and refresh i'm going to zoom this you can see first function second and third function we have simply created here third function and we have called these three function inside another function which is result function and we have called the result function outside of the result block here and we got the display here so this is very easy and in this way we can just create a function from another function or you can say a function inside another function so thank you for watching this video and stay and see you in the next class